Hello everyone, I'm Vikas and welcome to Small Academy. In this video today, we are going to talk about navigation drawer with fragments. So I have already uploaded video on the channel for navigation drawer using the activities and a lot of you guys ask me to make a videos on navigation drawer that implements the fragment active fragments for the um, activities. So I thought of making this videos long back, but now I'm doing this. So let me show you the demo of the application that we are going to build today. I'm going to open up my device and show you guys what is the final application is going to look like. So I have my device opened here and I'm going to go and open this application called fragment example. This is the application that we're going to build here in this tutorial today. So let me show you around. So we have this drawer header. So it is a typical design of navigation drawer. You already know about it. And here I have group of menus. So I'm saying as a group of menus because each and every group is a set of collections and it has the titles. And if you click on these menus, it will load the new activity. I mean new fragment in the main activity. So we have only one activity used here, but we have multiple fragments. And for that multiple fragments, we have multiple layouts and multiple classes. And also we'll talk about handling the event on these fragments. Since we are not using it as an activity, so handling a event on the fragment is a little bit different than how we generally handle the events on the activity. For example, if I click on this click me, it's going to load the another activity here. Uh, I mean another fra fragment and it's not going to change anything here because we still have the navigation draw. So if I want to implement this on the activity with the multiple activities instead of fragments, then if I click, if I try to open the new activity, it's completely going to hide this uh, navigation drawer because we have only implemented those navigation drawer in the main activity. And if I try to start the second activity, it's going to, I, I need to implement the navigation drawer in, in that uh, second activity also. So it is more flexible and it, it will give you more opportunity to simplify your application but it also comes with few limitations and disadvantages so we have to put up with that anyway for this video we are going to implement the navigation drawer with fragments activity let's get started with the video so i'm going to open up my android studio here as always i'm going to create a new project you go ahead and do the same i'm going to give some application name here with the empty activity so this is my location i'm going to give the application name draw fragment is the application name for my for this project you can give any name that's not a problem let's go ahead and finish this okay the building is finished for this project now let's uh, minimize this and we are going to go ahead and create some necessary files that we need so first thing we're gonna need is a fragments so we have this main activity here and we're gonna implement uh, we're going to implement navigation drawer in the main activity and we are going to set up our main activity such as it, it can load the navigation drawer dynamically. So as I said in the beginning of this video, we have two ways to load the fragments in any activity, right? So one is static method and another one is dynamic method. So if you want to learn about static and dynamic and all about these methods of loading the fragments, I'm going to leave the link in the description that will describe this on the Android documentation. So you can go and read about that here, there. So here I will create a navigation drawer first on this main activity. And after that, we are going to implement the fragments on these activities. Okay. So our drawer menu need few essential files. So we, I'm going to go ahead and create that file first. So those essential files are drawer header, drawer menu, drawer toolbar. And we also need a placeholder for the main activity, which will display the default content whenever user open our application. So let me go ahead and create those files. So first things we're going to need is a menu. So I'm going to go here and create a resource file, select the menu from the list. And I'm going to say the name as drawer menu, and I'm going to come back and add menu here later. First, I'm going to create all the essential files I need. So let me go to the layouts and I'm going to create few layouts. First one is drawer header. Let me design the drawer header as well so you know it will be less confusing so i'm gonna um, replace this linear layout by constant layout because it is much easier to work with the constant layout now so i'm gonna drag and drop one text view that 
we'll just simply say that it is a drawer header okay so this is the design of our drawer header drawer menu header you can add images email addresses name many things you can add here it's your uh, preference I, i'm just adding one text view only and since uh, this is displayed in the drawer header i'm going to give the fixed width for this instead of matching the parent so let me select the constant layout and i'm going to give 150 dp as the height for this okay this this will be perfect for our application second file we're going to need is a draw toolbar so draw toolbar uh, this uh, this file will essentially contain a toolbar that going to use for our uh, drawer menu i'll use the same linear layout and here i'm gonna add the toolbar and make sure it is appcompat.widget toolbar instead of other one and here i'm gonna set the height as the action bar size action bar size i'm gonna give i'll give background as a color primary dark and last thing we need is a id for this component okay so this is how it's going to look like here and also i need to make this match parent okay so this is our draw toolbar will look like and one more thing i need is a content main and inside this content main we, we are going to have the frame layout inside which we are going to load the fragments dynamically using the program okay so content main and let me add the frame layout inside this frame layout it's gonna match the parent for the both properties because we need to fill the all the required spaces all the available spaces and finally we need a id and i'm gonna say the container fragment or fragment container whatever so now finally i can go back to the activity main here and now here we need to make few changes so let me remove this first we need drawer layout instead of uh, constant layout for the navigation draw so i'm gonna add the drawer layout here and since i need to use this drawer layout layout later i'm gonna give the id so that i can uh, use this drawer layout afterwards in the program so draw and inside this i'm gonna include all of my files that i have created here so i'm gonna include draw toolbar and the content main so let me create include and it's gonna match the parent so let me create width and height properties here i'm gonna wrap the content for the height since i'm gonna use the layout of draw toolbar so let me enable the preview here and you guys will see how it's going to look like okay similarly i need to add the content layout here content main xml layout as well because that contains our frame layout and we need to load the fragments into this main activity so i'm gonna do that using the same code here so i'm just gonna copy this one and paste it here so that i'll save a little bit few seconds of time let me use the content main layout content main layout here and finally the last thing we need is a navigation view okay so navigation view is the sliding view that we have here when we slide from the left to right it will appear or if we click on the three uh, hamburger sign here it will appear so that is content inside a navigation view and for the navigation view we need to use the material design library so that is that don't come here with the our project so we need to go and add that manually so to add the navigation view i can simply go to here in container section and here you can see we have navigation view here right so let me click on this download button and it will give me the option to add the required library so i'm going to click ok and it, will, it, it is going to add the library once the project is sync okay the project is sync now and now we can go ahead and use the navigation view in our layout file i'm going to give width and height so let me just copy the same thing from here okay and i'm going to make it match parent i'll give the id for this since we also need to use this later in the uh, in the uh, program so this navigation view will have the two essential things one is the menu and one is the navigation header right so our navigation drawer have there that menu which have the navigation menus where we can click and open the new fragment and the navigation header which will display the information for this application so to do that i need to add the menu that i have created before in the menu folder that is draw menu so i can add that by using app colon menu and here using the menu 
name I can add that so draw menu and similarly I need to specify the header layout for the navigation view so using the same app uh, command here here layout header layout and uh, here I need to specify the layout that we that I have created for this navigation view and that is drawer header and now we need to provide two more properties that is going to make sure that our navigation view is correctly aligned with the uh, that is going to make sure that our navigation view is hidden at the beginning and only displays when the user click on the hamburger sign or slide from the left to right okay so to do to fix that we need to give the gravity for this navigation view so i'm gonna set the gravity for this navigation view so layout gravity so i can specify the layout gravity and that is start if i remove this you can see it is covering our whole uh, activity but if i add this start it's going to put that in the left side here okay you can also uh, see from here let me just uh, make this little bit bigger so you can see here and if i add this end so for some strange reason if you want this navigation drawer to come from the right side then you can give end here actually so and it will put this in the this side you can see here i have never really tried using and so if you want to see how it it's going to work or not you can just try putting the end there but for this video we'll just use the start okay because we want our navigation drawer to come from the right side left side and one last thing we need to specify is the fit, fit system window that is going to make sure that we can use this uh, to uh, you know overlap the navigation uh, the content of the main activity so android finally we can close this okay so i'm gonna go and make this project just to see if this is if we are having any error or not so let me just make this program and we'll see if we have any errors and for sure we have error here so let me see what is the error if i go here and navigation view it says uh, api error it says fit system window not found so it is windows i think so let me do that again 